Simone here at Katie Brown. Um, today's video is going to be looking at how we can change our workouts and keep things fresh and try new things. Um, what a really good way to change things up is to use lots of different equipment. So if you have an exercise ball at home, then great. Also the same with a foam roller and a hoop and a band. Now, if you don't have these things at home, that's okay. We can just do uh, lots of different variety. So planks on an exercise ball are really good, really good for serious deep core activation. So let's try. Now the further the ball is um, down your legs, the harder it is. So if we go to about here, you want to keep everything nice and pulled up and you're going to stay here. Now if you've got this, you can do a knee bend, slowly in. Try not to let the knees drop down. I want you to try and lift the knees up. So that's a really hard exercise. Um, again, if you've not done that before, or you think, uh, I want to give it a go, just always try and be nice and safe at all times, okay? Um, another one is to turn around here, and you're going to lift up to reverse shoulder bridge, arms to the ceiling. Again, we're trying to keep our back nice and flat. We're looking forward, arms to the ceiling. We're going to heel, lift, and arm float. So nice and steady. One more each side. And the last exercise on the, with the ball on the side is keeping that ball really pulled in as you lean over and you're going to lift up arm and leg up to the ceiling. Swapping sides. So again, really pull up as you lean over, coming forwards and lift up and again. Three, four. Building up into sets of eight. Okay. So, hoops. Hoops are really good to add extra resistance. So if you place in the hoop between, between your, your knees, we're going to squat, keeping that resistance the whole time. So it's going over the knees. So you're not letting that hoop go as you go down. And again, you can keep the body low so that you're going to speed it up. And then you can go nice and slowly and then come all the way back up. So staying down into that hinge with the hoop, speeding up your squats is a really good way of just changing things a little bit, still keeping all the plus principles, posture, pull up, keeping everything um, still a real focal point and at the forefront, but just with a little bit of, of speed. With your band, as you know, there are millions of exercises we can do with this band. Um, so one I'm gonna show you today is your foot, is arm, you're gonna take your legs slightly further back. So again, got a tiny little hinge and you're pulling from the elbow as you bring up. So we're trying to keep this line nice and long, hang low. So it's a straight and down, straight and down. And your eye line is slightly forward to the floor. And again, so we don't want to lift up from the wrist. We want to keep the line nice and long. So we're using our bicep and our tricep as well as our shoulder and the chest. And we're pulling up and again, Building into repetitions, starting in sets of eight and building up as you go. If you need the band to be looser and easier, make sure you've got a little bit more give. Tiny little hinge forwards and again, lifting up from the elbow and lower, lifting out and down and out and down and out and down and out and down. 
keeping that line nice and long. Out and down. Good. One exercise for you where you, if you have no equipment or anything whatsoever, this tiny little lunge. So you're going to come onto your side, you're going to take a leg back, you're going to lift up and you're going to bend both legs. And you're trying to reach to the floor, but you don't actually get there. And then come all the way back up again. So hinge and lift and back up. And swap sides. So you're trying to reach the floor, but you're lifting up out of the waist as you go down and coming back up. Both knees are bent, the back's nice and long, the neck's nice and long, the shoulders are down as you lift and lower and lift and lower and down you come. Okay, friend roller, a little variation on the tricep dip, so your hands are in front, foam roller is here your elbows are shoulder height you're taking the foam roller back and lower and back and lower 